Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to show you one of the newest and greatest from my personal opinion palettes from Too Faced and it is the country Nashville Nudes and this is how it looks like. This is the palette itself. It comes with a very nice box that I may save. I usually throw away the boxes but I think this one it's worth. It's really nice. It says country and then it has a little bit of uh, introduction over here. It's just very nice. It kind of reminds me the denim and the um, country uh, purples and baby pinks that they use on their outfits, if you will. So let me show you the palette. And this is the tin. I think that Too Faced has moved to this design and it just works awesome because it has a magnetic closure. So you just need to open and close. And this is the palette itself. And as many are, I would say, as all of the palettes, Too Faced usually would just call the looks by row. So the first row is day, the second is classic, and the third is uh, fashion. So let me do swatches on my head, on my fingers for you to see. I don't really want to don't go into the arm because it doesn't really capture in my camera. Okay, so let me go one row at a time. The first row that we have here, it's day. The first color is called Cowboy Take Me Away. And as you see, this is a warm neutral color. It's kind of a flesh color, but more into the light peach. So this is it. Then you have Y'all, and this one, you have to be very careful, because if you press it too much, I just noticed that there's a lot of fallout there. It's kind of a shimmery, almost metallic shade. So it looks to me like a pigment. So kind of a pigment with all these little sparkles. So you will need a very good primer for this one. And the last but not least is Dolly. And this is a brown, a very deep brown, and it has some gold uh, sparkle to it. Very, very small sparkles in that shade. Let me swipe my hands off. Now let's go to the second row, which is classic. And this shade over here is kind of a shell color. And it's also very um, pigmented. This is more like a satin color. Then you have paper roses. This is a apricot kind of color, if you will. And it's also, uh, it has also some shimmer to it. And the last but not least as well, it's rhinestone. And this is a little bit of a purpley brown. It's kind of a purpley brown. If you see this on camera, it's a purpley brown that is more into the purple, but I, I also see the undertone there. Now to the last row. We have here All American Girl, and this is a very shimmery off-white, almost. This is kind of a pearl white, sorry. Pearl white, not off-white. This is a pearl white, and it's also shimmery. Then you have Nashville, and Nashville is a tricky color, because Nashville looks in the palette like a gray, almost with a little bit of a purple undertone, but when you swatch it, it looks like a gray blue. So uh, it's a very tricky color and it's very versatile to work with and I'm sure you're going to achieve awesome looks with this color. And then we have Bluebird. And Bluebird, it's just a navy blue with blue sparkles. It's shimmery and it has sparkles to it. And it has blue sparkles. 
So this is pretty much the palette. Um, I think you could kind of had a feeling of the colors by me swatching it on my fingers. Uh, my real thoughts about it is a great palette. The colors are unique on its own. I am loving the all over shadows. They are very versatile to work with and they work as an all over shadow as well as the beautiful highlighters. And um, my favorite colors from this palette is definitely Nashville and um, rhinestone because I love purples. I think you guys know that. Uh, this here, Nashville, uh, it's to me very interesting because you can really not tell how is it going to work with different colors because it's iridescent and it kind of blends in with the color that's next to, if you will. And this one here, the y'all one, it's the only one that I'm a little bit disappointed about. I don't know if you're able to see the sparkle falling out. It's not sparkle, it's actually the product. So, um, yeah, you need to have a very, very good primer to work with this color. Aside of that, I think the palette is awesome. I dreamt about it, as I said in my previous video uh, that I did on the first impressions. It was love at first sight. When I saw the packaging and I saw the colors, I had to have it. It is really a great palette, so I would definitely suggest to go check it out and see if something that you would be interested in buying. They are available at Ulta and at Too Faced, but they are exclusive for Ulta, so you may want to uh, go and check it out. I think you can also uh, buy them online, if not only online for now, and then they will go into the store. I'm not sure I will leave all the information down below, so check the comments. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Like the video if you liked it, and leave me any comments. I love to read them. It really makes my day. So I'll see you next time. Bye.